What is going on everybody? I hope you had a good week so far. So today I just wanted to make a quick video showing my personal settings and the best way that I got Resident Evil 4 Remake to run on the Steam Deck. I saw a lot of videos out there, but mostly I saw suggestions from Reddit and random answers on Google. And most of the videos I'm seeing are showing Resident Evil 4 Remake running on Proton Experimental. But Proton Experimental can only go either slightly above 30 FPS or to... 40 to 45 FPS most of the time. But I personally found Proton GE 7-50 to be the best Proton to use with Resident Evil 4 Remake. The main reason why is it actually gets the game to 60 FPS in a lot of the locations in the game. Proton GE 7-50 was extremely surprising to me seeing how well it worked with this new remake considering it came out a couple months ago. It really shows the overwhelming support from the community and how masterfully well they're able to optimize Proton opposed to Valve. And the main way to acquire Proton GE 7-50 is to go to desktop mode on your Steam Deck, go to the Discovery app, and type in Proton Up dash QT. When you download and open it, make sure Steam is closed, and then you just go to Add a Version tab and click on Proton GE. And below that, you'll see more versions. And all you have to do is go to 7-50 and then start your download. After that, you're going to want to go back to gaming mode. And on Resident Evil Remake, go to the game's preferences, click on compatibility, and you'll see a bunch of Proton versions on the list. Then all you have to do is find Proton GE 7-50, enable it, and start the game. And Proton Experimental, even though it was just recently updated right before Resident Evil 4 Remake's release, still gave me a lot of issues. There were certain crashes at times, especially when messing with the resolution, but I found GE 7-50 to be a lot more stable when switching up the graphic settings. But don't worry, you don't have to change the graphic settings too much. I'll show you my settings. Pretty much I kept the game at 720p to reach that 60 fps during fights the refresh rate at 60 hertz now my frame rate is going to show 120 because i was playing it on a 120 hertz monitor but you can keep it at 60 and it'll play pretty much the same display mode is at full screen vertical sync off of course cinematics full hd ray tracing not even capable fsr 2 is off fsr 1 is off as well and the image quality is still at 100%. Rendering mode, just like I have with Resident Evil Remake 2, is interlaced. Anti-alias is at TAA. And the texture quality is the most important part. I have that at high with 0.5 gigabytes. Going to 1 makes the game stutter a little more every time you enter a new area. But I'll get into that a little later. Texture filtering is at medium. Mesh quality low. Shadow quality low. Shadow cache is on because if you have that off, it's going to tank your FPS pretty much. Contact shadows are on because it looks better and it kind of highlights every object a little more. So I keep that on even though it might be taxing slightly on the FPS. Ambient occlusions at SSAO. And with these settings, I wanted to make sure that the game looked and played very well, or just the best that it can. Volumetric lighting's at low, particle lighting quality is at low, bloom is off. Now, bloom is where all of the stuttering comes in, because there are a lot of flames and candles and lighting, like chandeliers in this game. So turning off bloom has a drastic effect on the FPS, surprisingly. Screen space reflections are on, subsurface scattering is on, hair strands is not worth it, and it's off. Graphic dismemberment is on of course persistent corpses is at few because after a while in battle it starts to add up and that makes the shader cache kind of go nuts and it stutters a great deal so turning that down to few is recommended especially in a game like this corpse physics is low I haven't tried high, but I'm assuming that it's CPU taxing, so I keep it at low. Diverse enemy animations is on, motion blur is off because it just looks gross in this game a little bit. Rain quality is low because you know why. Terrain is off, that hits the GPU pretty bad if you have it on. Destructible environments are on because it's cool. Lens flare is on, not sure why, but it looks better so I keep it on. Lens distortion, I keep that on because for some reason while turning it off, I guess the FOV increases. Pieces, so you lose about one to two frames if you have the lens distortion off for some reason but the FOV might be that reason and lastly depth of field is off that does tax on the GPU quite a bit and of course settings like resource intense lighting quality
quality and resource intense effect quality are low because, I mean, it's all in the title. And since a lot of ambient occlusion and bloom effects are off, I recommend turning the brightness a little higher up just so it can make the image quality a little more clear. But yeah, these are the settings I use mainly with my Steam Deck. I have found that it played in a lot of areas, for example, with the two garroters to run at 60 FPS quite often. And as for the stuttering, with Proton Experimental, I found that there was a ton in the castle area, especially, and pretty much any time you open the map, because the map updates every time you pick up treasure. So the shader cache kind of makes the game stutter every once in a while, especially on the unstable Proton Experimental. I'm not sure how people even recommend Proton Experimental. It was way too distracting. I kept going back to the graphic settings and adjusting it. But with Proton GE7-50, the game seems to be running perfect and it actually reaches 60 FPS. So yeah, don't listen to those other guys. I've been tinkering with this for a few days now and I actually completed the game with Proton GE7-50. So I can guarantee that it'll work for you. The game crashed on me once while using Proton Experimental, but it hasn't crashed since. And I found that while using Proton Experimental, after putting the system to sleep, the game seems to run slightly slower and it has more noticeable stutters, especially while going to a newer area. But GE 7-50 doesn't have those issues. Stuttering seems to be almost non-existent at times and the game runs exceptionally well. So yeah, trust the community, go to Proton GE whenever you're having issues with performance and I'll show some more screen screenshots just to show you the quality if the quality is good enough for you these are the settings that i have and this is exactly how the quality looks with fsr enabled on a 1080p screen and these settings are recommended if you want to switch between docked and handheld it's not just for handheld a lot of these settings that people are showing are only specifically in handheld but sometimes you want to play the game on a screen you just don't want to carry a steam deck around all the time and i notice a lot of people especially valve have these recommended settings and these updates but it seemed to be only specific to handheld mode and that infuriates me because the main advertisement of the system is to be docked or handheld so i just decided to make this video to show you the best settings for docked and handheld all you have to do while going back to handheld mode is either put the performance settings on the steam deck to integer or just turn fsr off and it'll work just the same if not better because fsr does run down the system's performance a tad so when docked, the performance isn't as good as handheld because you have FSR on, but it looks very good and it plays very well, especially if you want to go to the shooting range and collect some silver coins. So yeah, let me know what you think about these settings and what kind of settings do you use with your Steam Deck on Resident Evil 4 Remake? I want to know your settings just so I get a little more insight if there are better ones. But this is the best one that I found and I personally experimented with these settings myself and I probably messed with this for around 10 to 15 hours. And because of that, I have around 60 hours in Resident Evil 4 Remake now. Awesome. So yeah, if you want to see more on Resident Evil 4 Remake on Steam Deck, subscribe and let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have a good one. Later.